We're here five kilometres uh, outside Kunabarabran and uh, the planet Saturn is one of the gas giants. Now these are the gas giants we want. We want to be able to see these objects in the sky, not have gas giants like Santos potentially destroy the, the beauty of our dark skies. When we do talk about our unique industry in Coonabarabran, which uh, with the astronomy, it, it, it brings a new aspect into the fight because a lot of people understand those three big issues, air, land and water, makes perfect sense. But we have something unique to Australia that is under threat simply because of irresponsible flaring. So we try to bring attention in a new way. Over the years, um, I've studied various uh, objects in the solar system, asteroids that pass very close to the Earth and could potentially collide with the Earth. The, the idea is to discover them calculate their orbits and predict whether or not they might have collided with the Earth sometime in the future. Comets are also discovered as a, a byproduct of searching for the asteroids. I, I retired to Kunabarabran because of the dark skies here. There's been a, a policy to protect the, uh, the dark sky status of the observatory. I moved to make part of the Warren Bungle National Park, an international dark sky park. We already have dark skies here and it would be a, a disaster if these dark skies were lost due to any industrial developments. So what we're looking at is dark nebulae, which is commonly referred to in this area as the emu in the sky. To study the early stages of the universe, you, you have to look at these very distant, very faint objects. You need a dark sky. At the moment, the developments are in the northern Pilliga, but the intention is for the gas fields to open up the whole area surrounding Siding Spring Observatory. And if that was the case, there is absolutely no question that there would be an impact. One of the uh, retired astronomers, Malcolm Hartley, who uh, discovered a number of comets, one of which was visited by a NASA satellite and studied in detail uh, periodic comet Hartley II, is now one of the best known comets in the solar system. He locked on uh, when they were clearing uh, for uh, uh, new developments in the, in the Pilliga. So the, the passions are very high. The regulations are just so weak that it, essentially uh, nothing need be done. Uh, Santos needn't uh, uh, debate anyone uh, and eventually it would just get um, uh, pushed under the rug, forgotten about. Uh, the legislation is just hopeless. <laughs>